name is Sheldon Mwangi. The three terms, they were tough, but we were, we had to be tougher. So it was not easy, but through, through faith in God and through our actions by revising and our really supportive teachers really gave us a hand in that. They really helped us by bringing more and more exams for us so that we can, we can get familiar to question. I've scored 402 marks and I thank God for that. I thank my teachers for giving me the support to up to where I am. And for my colleagues, I'd like to urge them that to keep on working hard and it's not over until it is over. I'd like to join Mangu High School, that has been my dream school, so that I can study engineering, specified in architect. I want to be an architect. I'm, I'm Beatrice, mother to Sheldon. I'm really happy this afternoon for the good results. He has, he has been working so hard, tires, tirelessly, and selflessly. In fact, we thank God because he has rewarded him with good, good grades, and we thank God for this far. The secret behind good performance is just to have to work hard and to study more. He has been doing so much revision. In fact, we have been saying that we, we wish that God will reward, reward him according to, to his hard work, and for sure we have seen God has rewarded him accordingly, and we are grateful to God and also to the, to the school, to the teachers, and to my advice, Rihanna is a better place to be. Bring your child here and you will not regret. I'm Mr. Ngozi, the deputy teacher, in charge of academics and discipline. I think the journey has not been easy. As you know very well, where there is no pain, there is no gain. The learners have been so disciplined. Then we have also enjoyed the unity from the parents. Then we have a very ethical, credible and competent staff that have been working hand in hand to make sure these learners they do well. We have not attained what we had said but now when you try to assess the countrywide performance I want to take this opportunity on behalf of my colleagues teaching and teaching staff to salute even the candidates and wish them well as they join the O level because of what they have done they have done well and we are happy and proud of them and we believe without any reservation that moving into the future, as they have laid now a good foundation as we transit from 844 and invite the new competence-based curriculum, we are prepared fully because these learners, they have finished well as per our expectation. And I know I'm a proud and happy teacher. And I know moving into the future, our institution, we are growing rapidly even now and then. And I want to call upon my colleagues that let us not give it that this is the last one. We still have other miles ahead of us. We may urge the government, when you look at the Children's Act of 2013, we don't have any child called a private and a public. These are Kenyan children. And I will advise as a teacher that all children should be given equal opportunities in terms of infrastructure, facilitation, and issues to do with the bursary, because all of them they are working towards achieving the Kenyan vision of 2030. And the most important one, once we invest in education, that one should be given priority. If we invest in education, I know we are going to empower many generations to come, so that any opportunity that comes our way, they grab it. But we must do what you call improving on our education. We also call upon the education class, the administration cutting across, we come together, we work for the betterment of our children.